Welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. It's been a little while since I've played, which is because I've been sick recently, so my voice has not been up to it. But I think my voice is just, just about good enough to play. At least good enough to play this game. When it comes to something like Julia or Wasteland 2, I think those games require too much reading for me to comfortably be able to record them, but this one I think I can do. So I'm going to ease back into recording with Ark's Fatalis. But I do remember, we're here at the base of the Ilsids, checking out their stuff, and I remember I was going to check out this chamber and what's going on here. Got these two lovely chaps. Yum, 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 yum. Come on, you know you want to say it. Damn, gobbler. Mm. Ah. Damn, gobbler. Mm. Damn, gobbler. Mm. Damn, I don't know why that's so funny, but I just love the, the noises the trolls make. Especially when everything's higher-pitched and squeaky. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're gonna kill each other if I unleash this. So I'm probably gonna just load my game after doing this, but let's just see what happens. Oh no. Oh no! What? What the fuck? The game just minimized. Uh, I don't think it crashed. I think it just minimized. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna click on the game on the taskbar now. Okay. Why the hell did doing that cause the game to minimize? The f <laughs> what? Uh, okay, I want to see if that happens again. I'm gonna load my game and let's see. Let's see if the game minimizes again. Nope, didn't didn't minimize. That was really weird. That is so strange. Anyway, okay, well... I guess I can't, like, take him home or anything like that. I, I want to take the troll home. I mean, this little guy is just... This black... Little black beast is a freaking asshole, but... This dude's cute. I want to take him back. I don't think I can, though. They won't come outside of their cage. What if I break the glass in the back? That's, it's not going to do anything, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm probably going to kill them in the process. Alright, watch your tail. Oh no! Damn it! Fucking huge hitbox. Alright, what about the top? Oh no! Oh. I hit him through the glass, but they didn't break the glass. That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, well, they're just going to have to stay there. Let's see if I can give them something. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I got the troll's amulet as a present for Gru's birthday. Let's uh let's pass it on down. Uh. Gotta get it inside. Get in there. Nope. Okay. I'll, I'll just put it there for... Y yeah. You're gonna have to lean over to, to reach it. I'm sorry. There you go. Close enough. And what can I give you? Hmm. Something disturbing to match your disturbing nature. What should I give you? Oh, here we go. Here's a bottle of blood. It'll satiate your bloodthirst. There, enjoy those floating objects. Okay, so now we have his personal, Aserbius' personal diary to read. Let's go read that somewhere away from the growls. I think I already checked under the bed. I don't think there's anything up there. Um, oh yeah, there's a chest. Locked. Bless myself. Do that. Oh, you can? I think that just means you. Yeah, it's impossible, right? It's impossible. Yep, <laughs> there you go, it's impossible. Do I have the key to it? No. Locked. Hmm. Perhaps the key would be on Aserbius himself. Is Aserbius here? Have I? I haven't finished exploring this place. Have I? No. Alright, let's go read the diary. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Yum, 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 yum. Read. How, how read? Find book and inventory and press F. Yes, that's how you read. Ooh, bread. My stomach hurts. Where did it go? Oh, whoops. There's three pages. How long is this? Eh, not early length. It is important for me to leave the story of my life in these pages. For if something happens to me, it will help my successor to serve the Order's cause well. I have decided to devote my entire life to my beloved Akba. From the moment I learned of his existence, until I draw my final breath, I will worship him. Akba has given me what no man could ever dream of. I still remember the blessed day I met Lord Long. It was in the year 240. Immediately, we met each other's eyes. A powerful affinity between us became apparent. He was like a second father to me, and I am sure that for him, I was the son he never had. Sometime after, when I made my first real entrance to the cult, he made it known to me that I should be his successor. When I was still a novice, he told me everything about the cult and about Akba himself. He told me that the ultimate goal of the cult was to invoke Akba into our dimension, that he had laid the foundation to make this invocation ritual happen, but that, unfortunately, he would not live to see the day of its completion. Thanks to his powerful clairvoyance, he had already seen the hour of his death. He begged me to continue the preparations needed to fulfill Akba's grand design. When he died the following year, just as he had predicted, his prophetic words resounded in my mind and, when I had only just been accepted as a full member of the cult, I was made its high priest. This day marked my greatest grief and my greatest joy. The immeasurable grief of losing my mentor and father, and the unspeakable joy of knowing that our Lord's coming was imminent. A long period of research started for me then. I became closer and closer to Akba, as close as a mere mortal can be to a god. I saw what cannot be seen, heard things that made no sound, and felt things that no man could ever hope to feel. Akba gave me more and more power. Some physical power, of course, but also a great mastery of the magic arts. Akba is more than a god to me. He is my son, my heir, and my nourishment. He is everything to me. Thanks to his supernatural inspiration, I took the reins of his cult with an iron hand. I began by purging the cult of members that no longer served a useful purpose. Unsatisfactory results now proved as dangerous to these individuals as their shoddiness was to ourselves. After this essential task had been completed, I had time to plan every aspect of Akba's arrival, right down to the finest detail. It was essential that our order remain completely covert until it was too late to do anything to stop us. This is when I learned that Phelan Orbaplanix had guessed my true purpose and had desired to oppose Akba's coming with the help of the Noden. To stop the Noden from getting involved, I made some important decisions. First, I sent an assassin to kill Orbaplanix, who had become too great a danger and his name far too long and silly to leave alive. Second, I brought forward the date of Akba's coming. However, we did not have everything in place to invoke him. Therefore, I ordered that we step up the frequency of sacrificing non-believers by rounding them up in large numbers. Women and even children would do. I had no time to discriminate. Further, I stepped up the intensity of our prayers, encouraging more and more members of the cult to give themselves in sacrifice so that Akpa would finally hear our prayers. Day after day, I marveled at the sum of knowledge and power that Akpa made available to me. To my amazement, Akba promised to give me even more upon his arrival, and that he would leave the destiny of Arks in my hands. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's, well, let's, let's not just hope, let's ensure it doesn't. That is, after all, what I am doing. I was sent by the Noden. Okay, so I believe this is some sort of a puzzly, muzzly thing. Alright. 
He's accepted objects that I don't believe I have. And they're set in stones and floor that are shaped like the symbol you see everywhere. <laughs> this thing that looks like a rune, although apparently it is not. At least not one I have access to. I don't know if you need to like move these around or something. You probably just need to put the objects in it and then that probably opens up that door. So yeah, the only place I've not been that I can go at the moment is here. Oh my god. Well, there's a sacrifice. Oh no. They're a musician, a loot player. He's got nothing on him. Oh wait. <laughs> He's got a gold coin. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna loot a dead body for a gold coin. He can keep it. You could say that he could keep his loot. two-handed axe. Not a two-headed axe? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. What if I can impale myself upon these? Uh, nope. Locked. Locked. I know I've gotten like a million keys. Oh, sweet. Cool. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, tons of equipment. I mean, nothing super fancy. Basic equipment, but equipment nonetheless. Take the potions. Which I will never, ever, ever probably use. And, well, shit, I think this is actually it. Hmm. I know there's more to this place, obviously. I mean, there's that door that I can't open. Where is his head? Huh. Looking for like secret buttons and stuff. So yeah, aside from this, I think that's it. And I really don't think I have whatever the hell needs to go in here. I mean, that shape does not look familiar. And whatever it is, I would need five of it. Yeah, five of them. They all appear to be the identical shape, so I need five of the same thing. <coughs> and I just don't have that. So, I'm guessing I maybe can come back here for a quest or something at some point? Maybe even the main quest? <laughs> yeah, that seems to be it for this place. I know I checked in here, I'm just looking at the mini-map and... There we go. Makes me feel good to <laughs> fill out the, uh, get rid of the fog of war on the map. By going to the edges of a room. Well, in that case, that leaves me only a couple things to do. I think the next thing I was going to do... I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Uh, I feel like the next thing I was going to do was try to fight the Ice Dragon, which I believe was somewhere on level 2. According to what I read online, I've obviously never actually seen the Ice Dragon, as you haven't seen it either in my playthrough. Which is why I was surprised to learn it is apparently on level 2, somewhere. And that's apparently what has the... Uh, dragon bones, I think, that I need to enchant my weapon of ultimate ultimateness to defeat Akba once and for all ever. That's where I was gonna go. But I remembered there's something else I was gonna do that I kinda forgot about. And that's to go back down to the Maze of Confuzzlement. Which I believe is here. Yeah, it is here, isn't it? 
back down into the crypts. Yeah, I want to go check that out again. So, I'm going to go there and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm down here. This is the Maze of Confusement, which is not what it's actually called, but I can't remember what it's actually called. Lost, uh, or like, Maze of the Damned, or something of the sort. Anyway, I've been taking a look at this, and I have discovered something. I've solved part of it. I'm starting to understand exactly how this place works, but I haven't quite solved the whole thing, but I want to take you through what I've learned so far so you can get a good picture of what's going on. So this is exactly as I've left everything at the moment. This was the last thing I did. I went down this long pathway here and then flipped this lever. I believe there's a key here as well, and I have no idea what the key's for. However, when I used this lever, I don't think I ever actually figured out what it did. You can very, very faintly hear something moving in the distance. But I don't think I actually found what it connected to. However, I have just done that. So what that actually controls is this. So this is normally down. Normally that's just a wall. As you can even see on the minimap, you see how it actually doesn't even show a pathway here? So normally that's down, that lifts it up. Which takes me here, which is somewhere I have not been before. However, then I quickly come against this. So there's one interesting connection there. There's another one. I've noticed that these levers are connected to multiple things. So this one in here... Next to this weird glowy thing, I still have no idea what that glowy thing's about. This one, which I thought... I just kind of assumed it only affected this, right? Because it opened this and allowed me to go down this long pathway here. However, it doesn't just do that. It actually toggles between this and that. So there was a wall here. And now there's not. So as you can see, there's actually now two pathways here. However, this door here is still blocked. So is it necessary to have both of these open, given that they both lead to the same place? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't see why you need two entrances. The sticking point is that I still have no idea how to open this. So let's just take a look around and start flipping some more things, I guess. Uh, I've tried to flip this. Which, as far as I can tell, only controls this here. It's just the gateway into the a blue room, as I'm going to call it. As far as I can tell, that's all it does, at least when it comes to here. Like, it doesn't put this down or anything of the sort. These are still open. That's still closed. It might open something else, actually. Let's... You know, there is another, like, there's this here. Where this is obviously a pathway. You can see there's, like, blackness on the mini-map, and there was a rat on the other side that I killed. Obviously that can be opened, somehow. Not with this, though. Okay, so just leave that like that for now. Are there even any more levers, though? There's also this. Which is still closed. I'm actually not sure where any more levers are. So I've solved part of the mystery, but certainly not the whole thing. Yeah, the maze of the lost souls. Well, shit, that means I've left the maze of the lost souls, I guess, which means I'm probably not going to find any more levers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. No. There's more. What the hell did that even do? This place is confusing. Oh god, there's more. Sure. Just flip them to different ways than they were before, because where they were before obviously was not working. But yeah, it seems helpful to think of these as having two states. Not It's not just open one thing, clo close one thing but instead flip between two different states. But two different states in what? I don't know. Okay, well I could float over that. But I can't imagine they'd require you to. I 
I think there's just a bit of loot down here before, wasn't there? Ah, I mean, I am technically outside of the maze. I just closed that. Well, whatever, I'll leave it closed. I don't need to go in there anyway. Maybe it'll magically do something somewhere else. Alright, let's cover the spike pit. That's not the one. There's no way I'm going to get this far without solving the whole thing. Let's see if that did anything. That's still closed. <laughs> Let's see what I can see in there. I really don't see anything. That's still closed. Huh. There's still a lot here I don't understand. Like, what's the key about? I mean, I can't use the key to this thing up here, right? It, it doesn't have a keyhole. I didn't think so. There isn't, like, a keyhole around here, is there? A thingy? Is there a thingy? Nope. Okay, it is a bit strange that there's two ways into here. What if... No, that doesn't make any sense. Does it? I was just thinking, what if... I left that closed. <laughs> Let's undo all the damage I did. What was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be... F well, fuck me. I'll be damned. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, I've ha I have both of these open, right? And that didn't open this door? And then I thought, okay, I've also had this one opened and this one closed, right? Because when I was all the way... When I was first demonstrating this, I pressed that lever down there, which opened... This way. But this way was still closed, so I've had both of these open. I've had this one opened... And this one closed. And neither of those had this door open, so I thought, okay, what about the one way I haven't tried? Which I'm pretty sure is actually the way this whole thing started, isn't it? Or something like that? Yeah, it, it's probably the way this whole thing started. I, they probably just assumed you would mess everything up by pressing the levers without, you know, fully understanding how everything worked, which is absolutely true. I mean, if you put a lever in a game, people are going to press it. It's like a big red button. Except it's not red. And, it, and it's not a button. Alright, let's see where that takes me. Oh god. More levers. I'm gonna assume that this one's also a trick and it's better if I just leave it unpressed. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, so one more and I can get in to there. Okay. Alright, this whole maze is a gigantic mindfuck. Fine, though. You want to fuck my mind? That's okay. It's ribbed for my pleasure anyway. 
All right. Well, I guess we do have to actually press this. Let's listen. Shh. I didn't hear anything. In a perfect world, pressing that will make everything perfect. This is not a perfect world. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that opened something distant. So let's get a uh, let's get the hell out of here and see what it opened. <coughs> okay, there's two things that spring to mind. There's the wall with the rat behind it, and there's also the gate that's closed. Ooh! Yeah, that's the wall that had the rat behind it. Okay, so that opened. Oh god, another one. Alright, just listen. That opened something close. Wait. I didn't just fool myself, right? This this is the place that had the rat behind it? Right, that's not the other place? No, that was definitely it. Yeah, that was closed before. Because that opened something up over here, didn't it? What did it... What did it do? What did it do? do, do, do? What did that do? It sounded so close. This is all the same. This is still closed, as it should be. It sounded like a gate. Having trouble telling the directionality of it. Is it I, somewhere over here, I guess. Uh, maybe that's it. Like, eh, it's too easy, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it opened the gate that was locked before. Speed things up here. Was this it? I, th I think... Yeah, yeah, this was it. Yeah, this was the place I was locked before. Okay. Listen closely. This actually might be the final one. I think it is. Oh, I think that was one of them. But which one? Hell, it might be both of them. <laughs> oh no, it's just this one. I went the right way then. I got inside, yes! That was so cool! Whoa. Uh, okay. Ow, wait, did it, did it even really hurt me? A little bit. Okay, that's a little bit worrisome. This place appears to have some sort of a defense mechanism. I don't know what that did. Can I kill it? Or am I gonna have to like solve a puzzle while <laughs> getting stabbed by an invisible ma- Oh, there's two of them. They're ganging up on me. Oh, okay. You can kill them. They bleed smoke. <laughs> this is incredibly <laughs> silly. <laughs> A little bit of blood there. <laughs> oh, that was so silly. I love it. Alright. <coughs> oh, looks like we're not done. There's more levers. So many levers. What are you pointing at? You seem very judgmental. Look at that face. Ah, 
Ah, I wish I had some torches. I don't. Alright, I flipped this one. Let's flip that back. What does this say? Boxellus's gate. Glory to Boxellus. Yes, glory to Boxellus. I don't know who Boxellus is. Even that doesn't open this damn gate. Wait, there's three entrances here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, this, yeah, this is the way I've normally looked in from. Through here. This is a way, actually, I've just never been. Hmm. I wonder what's back there. Is he pointing at a lever? <laughs> kinda. I, I guess he's kinda pointing at this one. So, not really. He's pointing at the doorway. Wait. Did I just move his hand? Am I crazy or is he pointing a different direction now? He is absolutely pointing a different direction. I want to see him, his transformation. I want to see him by the corner of my eye. That's weird, he didn't move. Does he not move when you're looking? Let's look away. What the hell? See a move, you little bastard. There we go, okay. But now will he move back? No. So I had to press a bunch of levers to make him move once, but then he didn't move back when I pressed the last lever back. Huh, maybe it's just telling me which one to press in which order. I think it is. Yep. Alright, he's not pointing straight. He's pointing off to the left, so it's this one. I just like watching him move. Oh! Well done. Whoa. So, you think you have overcome all the obstacles? But you have just got yourself into the worst situation you could ever imagine. You will never get out of here alive. Believe what I say. Trust the words of a dead man. Never get out of here. We'll see about that. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. It's like, why? Why is that sitting there? I should probably just use spells to defeat them. Double damage. <laughs> They really don't do much damage, though. Somebody help me. What the hell? What the fuck is going on down here? No keyhole or anything like that, right? Can't... Nope. 
I wouldn't be surprised if she's just bait and not actually real, but, you know, I'm going to be a good guy and assume she is real and try to save her. Oh, I had the key. I heard heavy breathing. I think, oh, hello. I think there's a zombie behind that wall or something. Oh, yeah. I heard it. Alright, come on out. No? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of wooden stakes. That's suggestive. Oh, there we go. Open the other side. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust her. Whoa, what was that sound? Did that come from her? She looks human. Oh, that came from her. Her mouth just moved when she growled. Oh, yeah. Be one of us. No, thanks. Uh, can I stab her? Stab her. She's a fucking zombie. Stab! Okay. Better not raise up. R raise up. Rise up? It's okay, if she doesn't get up on her own, I can always use raise, raise dead on her. <laughs> I have to use this just so I can actually get some light. Oh, it's missing. Oh shit, I don't think I actually have a piece of wood on me, do I? I think I left it because I thought, huh, when would you ever need a piece of wood? Well, right now. Oh my god. Tools, a torch, thank god I'm going to light that thing right now and use it up in like two seconds. No lever. A rope. I'll take it just in case I need it for something. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh. Why? Why? <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Alright. Okay, looks like there's a ritual sacrifice or something going on down here. Oh, it's just a trap. How deep is this place? Oh, thank God, more torches. A shiny orb. Hmm. Weird. I've got a couple ideas of what that could be for. Assuming it's not for directly down here and I'm about to use it. If 
Jesus, I, I don't know how long this goes. I might have to end this episode. I'm already almost at like an hour. And it looks like it just keeps going and going. I think it does. Alright, well, if I don't stop now, it, I'm, I'm just going to keep going and going, so... Um, I'm just going to stop here, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Let's read the note first. I cannot reach Poxelis's tomb. The riddle set by the watchman who protects the hearse is too difficult for me. I am leaving Poxelis's treasure to someone else. Protects the hearse. The hearse. I'm not really sure what that means in this context. I know what it is in real life context now, but in a fantasy world, I don't know. But anyway. Obviously, it's the person protecting the tomb or whatever. Or the pathway to the tomb. So there's a riddle, and apparently it's very difficult. Hmm. Intriguing. Let's also take a look at this thing. Can I use it? No. What does it look like? Yeah, I know what that's for. That's for that weird wall space. That, that weird missing spot. It's like a keyhole waiting for something to be shoved inside of it. That, oh, there goes the torch. Um, back at... Uh, is it up level? Yeah. Yeah, it's up here. Back at this main place around where I did the big riddle to get the Shield of the Ancients. Remember in one of these upper rooms up here, there's this little spot in the wall that has a open spot and it wants you to put something in and I had no idea what to put inside of it. And there's obviously, there's also obviously a wall that would open right next to the thing. That is what this is for. It's the same, yeah, it's the right shape. It's like a jellyfish kind of thing. Or whatever you want to call that shape. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. I wonder what's behind that wall. I guess we're going to find out soon. Yeah, this has turned out much more epic than I thought. This is really freaking cool. I, I love what they did with uh, all the levers back there. In that maze of confusion. The maze of the lost, the maze of the damned. It's very neat. I wish you could tell more about what was happening based on sound alone. I think that would have been cool, but it still does pay, uh, force you to pay attention to your environment and how things are changing, which is pretty cool. Although, kind of difficult, frankly. I I don't know. If your um, sense of space, your, your spatial awareness, if it's not great, or you're not very careful, it'd be very easy to just have no freaking clue what's going on. And, in fact, I didn't even know any of that stuff was even happening. Like, I didn't know the levers... Like, if someone didn't tell me that I should go back there and, you know, mess around with the levers some more, which is what happened. Somebody told me to mess around with the levers, which is why I went back. And also because it was bothering me a little bit, but, you know, if that hadn't happened, like, if somebody didn't tell me that I should maybe look at that more closely, like, I don't know if I ever would have even discovered that they did anything. Which means, I th maybe they should have given you a little bit. You know, a little bit for free. Something to make you realize that the levers have... Well, like, they close one thing and they open another thing. Something to make that more obvious. I think probably would have been good. Because it would have been so easy just to miss all of that. And... Which would be such a shame, because this is really cool. I mean, look at all this. It's turned in from... It's turned from what was just a uh, curiosity at what I missed into... Oh god, I'm kind of, like, trapped in this huge dungeon place and everything's creepy and... Swords are... Floating in the air and trying to kill me. Like, this is freaking awesome. Very cool. All right, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.